Why is it that women are at such an increased risk for Alzheimer's disease? The risk is two to one women in comparison to men. And one uh, recent report actually looked at what are called the microglial cells. As many of you know, that's the topic of my new book called Brain Defenders. It turns out that when women reach menopause, their levels of a certain type of hormone called estradiol go down. When estradiol levels go down, then a part of the immune system in the brain called complement, specifically C3, binds to synapses. When this complement binds to the synapses, the connection between neurons, it then triggers these microglial cells, stimulates them to digest away that synapse. Think about that. that the brain starts losing its connections because the estradiol levels have gone down. So the question I think many would ask and looking at my opinion is, does that therefore support the idea of hormone replacement therapy in women? My answer is you bet. I am all in as it relates to women getting estradiol along with progesterone to, uh, to help balance out the estradiol. I think that the risk benefit ratio, in my opinion, is going to prove to be huge in terms of the other way, benefit to risk. So I, I don't think there's really any significant risk to talk about. In the book, I talk about the minimal increased risk of stroke and pretty much the data that related to breast cancer risk that was not really good science, but certainly moved the needle in terms of affecting a lot of people. So that's all for now. Bye-bye.